Okay, so we've pretty much clarified everything we need to, and we can click these little triangles to see our actions. Uh, we'll go ahead, go ahead and change the view options here so that we can see uh, just the comments. And the way we add next actions to these things is we can do it manually here by just using Command I and typing the next action at uh, at school. Talk to teacher about possible topics. Uh, we could also um, go ahead and do, discuss with a few classmates at school. Talk to a few former students about teacher likes. And we can also just go ahead and do the one for the library. At library. Back to librarian. About a few good resources. Check. Okay. So we've defined the next actions for each of those. Uh, you can do it that way manually by using the file get info or you can uh, click more action and do it this way by clicking review moving parts. Uh, so you kind of get an idea of how the getting clear on projects uh, works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click back here. And uh, what do you need more clarity or more action on project finish term paper for history class? And once we're done, we're just going to go ahead and click next and it'll start updating our projects. All of the items that we've actually defined next actions for, it's going to make aliases in our actionable folder. So let's go ahead and click next and see how that works. Now checking moving parts in active system. Now checking moving parts in Tickler file. Now updating project support files. Now adding new moving parts of projects to active system. Okay, and we can go ahead and open up our actionable folder now. And you'll notice that for the project that we made of this term paper, we now have items here that uh, show up. So go to the library and look for some interesting books. It showed up here at library. And uh, we also have the uh, discuss some ideas with my classmates here for school. Uh, what's nice about this is these are alias files that uh, link to what's in your project. You can go ahead and just select one and do Command R and it'll take you directly to the original in that project, as you see there. And uh, it's just it's a nice way of keeping things separate. It allows you to work on your individual tasks here and also allows you to clarify and work on the larger horizons here. What's also nice about Ready, Set, Do is if you assign a due date for that project, you don't have to go through the painstaking work of trying to figure out, oh, okay, I need to do this by this time or this by this time. Ready to do automatically calculates and assigns due dates, as you can see here. Once it updates your projects, it assigns due dates to help you get that project done on time. So when we go to our actionable folder, each of these tasks associated with this term paper uh, has a due date. This one uh, is set for April 21st, so I know I need to discuss these ideas with my classmates by April 21st. And as you're working on tasks uh, that are related to one of your projects, Ready, Set, Do tiers uh, the project in the background so you can actually see uh, what project your task is connected with. So we'll go ahead and do get some actionables done here so you can see how this works. And we'll go ahead and click uh, Library because we know that's one of our tasks that we need to complete that's related to this project. And you can see that the project shows up in the background so that you can see what project your task is connected to. Uh, later on we'll show you how sub-projects can, can uh, be paired with this where you'll actually see the project and then the sub-project hierarchy as it comes down to the actual task you're working on. It's absolutely wonderful as you process things in the moment be because you can see how your runway task is connected to those higher horizons that you're trying to complete. It's a wonderful way for motivating you to complete your tasks. Another thing that's nice about Ready, Set, Do is it's got a couple of these next action shortcuts. So for example, we can click Do Now and Incomplete. Uh, one of the next action shortcuts is to brainstorm or collect. So we just go ahead and type collect here. and It'll allow us to collect our thoughts directly into this folder. So we'll say, um, 
librarian recommended um, two books on the Middle Ages, and it just collects your thoughts, your idea, etc. You can see how that works. You can just collect your thoughts directly to that document or folder. If it is a document instead of a folder, it automatically convert it to a folder and throw uh, your thoughts into that new folder. So it's a great way of keeping your ideas localized with the actual task you're working on. Once you're done, you just go ahead and click done. And uh, if you complete the task, uh, that's one thing. But um, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll go ahead and click at school. And uh, we'll go ahead and say we already talked to the teacher about this. We'll click Do Now. And when you complete a task that's connected with a project, uh, it'll actually mark it complete in the project. It'll gray it out and put completed part in the original. So we'll go ahead and hit Complete, and I'll show you what that looks like. The other thing is that since this was a uh, sequential task, we finished we finished something, and now we need to to define what the next action is for the task that follows. So the new thing we've got here is to write a two-page summary plan for my research. I'm going to go ahead and write uh, I've got a little Moleskine notebook. Uh, write down two-page summary. I'll hit return. OK. And you'll see right back there we've got our uh, completed task. It, it's graded out, so we can see which tasks are complete and put the little check mark sign there so we can see that. This is really nice because as you complete a really large project with a lot of tasks, uh, as these completed items are all grayed out, it allows you to focus on the things that, uh, that aren't, aren't done. It's just it's a really nice way to be able to view your actions to get you focused on the things you need to instead of being overwhelmed by all of these things that uh, are part of your project. You can see at a glance how this project is starting to get closed down as you finish and uh, get moving. So anyway, that's pretty much how projects work. I hope that that's uh, at least helpful. There's, there's quite a few other things that happen with projects, but we don't have time to go into them right now.